Next is selecting the tool stack. So the first thing we want to do, and I don't have this here, but the first thing we want to do is take an inventory of the tools that we have available to us. Let's look at what has, people have adopted, what's not getting adopted, right? And you know, what do we, what's essential? So obviously your CRM, your platform of record is going to be your primary tool. And then we want to make sure that we back up any, back any process that we're going to put from social selling into your CRM or your platform of record, right? That's really important that we were aligning your uh, process with your, um, with the activity. Once you've established that, now you want to decide what productivity tools am I going to use? So we have a, a list of uh, a bunch that we use, right? So first I use Calendly.com uh, so that my buyers can schedule with me, right? When I'm engaging with them, if I get a warm introduction from a shared, from a client or a shared uh, networking partner to make scheduling easier. So, uh, you know, I'll send a note, great to me, looking forward to chatting, exploring ways we might be able to work together. Uh, feel free to send me at some times next week that are you know, convenient for you. Or if you'd like to make scheduling easier, here's a link to my calendar. Pick a time that works best for you. And throughout my sales process, this calendar link has been transformative. I will be on between eight and 10 scheduled calls every week, and about 95% of them show up to those calls. So I could cold call all day long and you know, get, maybe get lucky that someone picks up. But when I'm getting warm introductions and I'm engaging with people and having conversations online, they're actually excited to talk to me. And that calendar app is amazing. Here are sometimes, I mean, I have it everywhere. I have it all over my profile, right? So there are sometimes that I'll have a prospect literally schedule with me before I even talk because they, before we even, you know, have the conversation even online because they read some piece of content or someone sent them my way. And so instead of that back and forth, like, you know, um, How's Monday at two? That's not good. How's Thursday at one? Nope, that's not good. And then we forget the excitement. So the calendar app really helps the schedule. Short code. So all we use um, a free Chrome extension. You can get it at autotextlink.com. And it stores all of my templates, my messaging templates. And with short code, if I have introduction paragraphs, connection requests, I try to customize each one, but I start with uh, a template just to make it easier and um, time productive. Advocacy or amplification tools, there are a lot out there. Could it be anywhere from Buffer and Hootsuite to Everyone Social to, I mean, there's a lot. Um, LinkedIn has uh, their own called Elevate. And these are literally like libraries of content that people, that approved company content that people can then share from. Uh, so the larger the group, although some of them are, you can go small, um, the more important this can get. But you want to pick those tools. Grammarly, I think everyone should have it. It's free. It's, um, it, it's on Chrome. Uh, and it's important that we're getting our commas right and our THENs and our THANs right. So when you're picking your tool stack, make sure you're focused there.